Welcome to my 10 minute workout. So this is a rugby uh, conditioning workout I'm going to use uh, now that I'm in season uh, training twice a week. Basically I'll be doing this workout 10 minutes uh, twice a week, uh, Mondays and Wednesdays on my off days from uh, uh, training. Uh, basically it's an upper body and ab workout. Uh, I work from three levels. A lot of the exercises I'm doing now as I've evolved my own understanding of uh, working out is instead of doing my rows and my presses with both arms together, I'm now alternating from one arm to the other. What I find this does is it gives me a much better ab workout as well. Remember when we're training for rugby and most sports in fact, lateral abs, swinging torso, uh, this is the way we run, this is the way we swing, uh, throw, uh, if we're ripping a ball, tackling. Uh, we're not generally pressing uh, both arms ahead together. I mean, really the only time you're doing a motion like that maybe in rugby would be scrumming or lineouts. The rest of the time it would be uh, opposing muscle groups. So here you can see I'm doing a, a bit of a torso twist. This is a variation. If you've uh, seen any of the other videos, you know that the normal torso twist has a much bigger range of motion. The reason I'm demonstrating it this way is I want to show you how to do a full routine where you can really be super time effective by using one band and uh, and keeping just two handles in your hands the whole whole time. This way, if you're working with a door anchor or something else, you're going to find it's uh, still extremely uh, time effective workout because you can do all the exercises. Uh, anyway, I can also uh, change the range of motion slightly on the torso twists uh, by uh, changing how far I am from the anchor point uh, to change where I max out on the motion. So you can see I've done basically a set of vertical hand rows, a chest press, two torso twists. Now I'm doing a bicep curl, uh, and now I'll do a tricep, uh, pull down if you will, or push back. Uh, you'll note all the time that I'm doing these exercises, my knees are bent, my abs are engaged, uh, uh, my thighs are getting a pretty good workout throughout this routine, although I'm not doing any lunges or anything like that. It's a lot of great isometric work being done, uh, these various things. Here I'm just a little finishing off work here, doing a little isometric on the shoulder work from this mid anchor point and uh, I've changed my leg position again to keep balance of the workout. And that's it for the mid anchor point. So we're basically a third of the way through the routine. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is move down to a lower anchor point and I'm going to repeat the, the same basic exercises with some uh, you know subtle differences. Uh, I'll start here with the rows. In this set of rows, for example, you'll note my hands are in a horizontal position. By doing the alternate rows with my hands in the horizontal position now, I'm work working my upper back a lot more than when my hands were in the vertical position when I did that first set of rows. So it gives me definitely a, a slightly different uh, uh, workout on my back as I'm doing it. But you'll note again, I'm a little deeper in the, uh, in the chair, uh, again from this low anchor point. Uh, that's one of the things I like to do when I'm working out and using the chair a lot in different exercises. Exercises, uh, I will definitely vary the height of the, uh, the, the bend uh, or the depth of the bend, if you will, uh, so that I'm working out my quad at a different point for these different sets. Uh, so, here again, I'm going to do a, this is a chest shoulder exercise. Uh, you'll note here the wide stance, and I'm really lunging, I'm, I'm doing full extension with my arm, and then I'm finishing off with my uh, with my uh, pushing off with my calf and uh, also extending with my uh, abs as well so I find this is a really great full body exercise and it's obviously a really good uh, uh, chest and shoulder workout as well so anyway this is uh, just keep the pace going here as I said I think there are, I haven't counted them exactly but I think there are 270 repetitions in this routine which comes in at just under 10 minutes uh, and uh, really if you can uh, just get a band with an anchor and uh, even on a door anchor point uh, in this routine you've only got to change the anchor point three times so you can really get a really great full body now you see here the torso here we're doing again this sort of an upward wood chop we're doing with one hand I'm really trying to basically the, my right arm there is, is, is quite isolated so I'm not really pulling so much with my arm as I'm really trying to use my torso to um, pull the handle away from the anchor point. Uh, in all these exercises, of course, it's important to adjust your distance from the anchor point uh, you know, to get into the good range of motion so you are maxing out at the end of the range of motion. Also, when you're operating with one hand, uh, the resistance here, obviously, you know how far the other hand is uh, uh, as 
well can adjust how much play there is in the band and how much resistance you're going to have in the exercise. These are subtle things you get used to as you, as you go. Uh, so here again, I'm going to do biceps. Now, uh, this time we'll do, I'm going to do alternate biceps again. This gives me a slightly different workout of my abs, slightly different workout of the bicep here as the force is more down than straight ahead. Uh, and again, I'm in the chair as well, so my quads uh, are getting a pretty good workout as well. Symmetric work, basically some shoulder raises, uh, and you'll notice as I move closer to the anchor point, I'm able to raise my hands just a little higher, so I can work out isometrically my shoulders in this raise uh, at several different levels. There we go. Now for the last. Uh, third of this uh, routine, I move to the high level. Again, there's some subtle variations. Uh, uh, for example, here in the row, you'll note, this time I'm going to do the alternate hand row, but I'm going to use the underhand grip. It's going to work my lower back a little more, and you'll note, I'm going to work a little more explosively as well. Um, one of the nice things about bands is that you can do isotonic exercises, which is a slow, gradual motion through a range of motion, or isometric, as we were using with the shoulder raises, where you isolate and stabilize at a, a different point, or plyometric, which is uh, you know more explosive. Uh, now here, when I do my chest press here, you'll note that I'm starting with a wider hand uh, grip here. I'm going to basically do the press stabilize and then bring it around so that I get more work on the fly as well. So this is a slightly different workout of my chest by doing the press and then a fly. And of course, it is also requiring me to stabilize with my legs and my abs as I move forward, uh, finishing off with this motion as well so that I control it. You'll note as well that I'm always controlling the return of the band, all the exercises. Uh, if you haven't watched the basics of working out with resistance bands, one of the things you really have to be mindful of is resisting the return of the band. Don't let the band pull back uh, of its own accord. It's part of the exercise, and if you let the band go back quickly, it's also dangerous. Another thing I'll say to get through a routine like this, you've really got to remember to breathe throughout the routine. Uh, always exhale as you're taking the band away from the anchor point. Uh, inhalations will take care of themselves. Uh, see I'm using my whole, my abs, my core to move that that band away. Um, I'm really sort of leaning into it maybe a little too much, but I'm tired. <laughs> anyway, this has been a great routine. This is the first time I've done this 10-minute routine. Uh, I'm delighted it's come out exactly at 10 minutes. Uh, it's, uh, it's basically 10 repetitions uh, of each of the exercises. And of course, because some of them are done left and right, uh, you're in, you end up doing 20 repetitions. Uh, you could go uh, for uh, you know fewer repetitions and more resistance on certain days. Um, but that's basically it. You'll notice here now uh, one of the things just by simply changing my my body orientation towards the anchor point, I can now work out my biceps from the side instead of from the front. It's also a slightly different shoulder workout as well. And we're into the home stretch here as I finish off these triceps. Um, I, you know, one of the reasons I can get through this many repetitions, obviously, is because I do 10 repetitions and then I just move to an opposing muscle group. So even though my biceps are really tired right now, it's not that important as I'm now working out, out my triceps. And that's, I think, one of the big advantages of working out with a system like uh, these resistance bands is that you can move from one exercise to another so quickly, as I think I've demonstrated here in these 10 minutes, and get a really great full body workout. And here we go, just a couple of finishing shoulder exercises, and we are done in 9.56. Thank you very much.